Hello, how's it going today? It's Frankie here, and I'm back with another gaming review. I was about to say movie review. I'm so used to saying that. And this game here, this is an these are another set of games I grew up with in my childhood, right? On the old Xbox, up there with Unreal Championship 2, right? The most underrated, the most goofiest, the most wackiest, the most addictive, and the most chaotic set of arcade games I've ever played. Even the most fun. Whilst everybody's still playing with their Fortnite and PUBG and all these type of arcade games, these are proper arcade games right here. If I was to show this to people now, they would be like, meh, not really, okay. Yeah, but this is addictive, this is fun. Like, especially playing with two player, or maybe three player, even four player, it's incredible, right? The games I'm talking about here, Time Split is two, and Time Split is three, right? This is my favourite one. The reason why it's my favourite one is because the characters in this one are more goofier. They show animations of the characters. There's a bit more variety in as well. Or the, the other one has variety too, but that one's my favourite because you can extend the, um I think, the kill amount there. The amount, you know, the kill limit. That's, you can extend that to, like, the maximum is 1,000. But I always put the cap limit to one to 500. The second one... The, the kill limit is only at 100, you can't increase it. And the characters have animations, the story mode's more hard than the second one, you know. And obviously, there's a say you have to go through like story mode. I think the, the arcade league and the challenges to unlock characters that's how it works. And the challenges in both of them are difficult, especially in the second one. I'm gonna try to remember what the, the glass smash one, you got the bananas one, you got. Having to try and use stealth, it's, I don't want to go through the whole thing, it's just, it's difficult. The, f the third one, Future Perfect, the challenge is not as, just as difficult, right? Trust me, it, it will take you a while to get to all the goals and whatnot. The Arcade Leagues, the Time Space 2 is way difficult. The Time Space Future Perfect is slightly more easier to do the leagues. It might take a bit of time to get gold, but they're not as intense and difficult as the second one is. Now, there's a lot to get through. I mean, there's over 200 characters in these games. And what I also like about these games is that there's four team deathmatch. Now, a lot of you are going to look at me and thinking, what? There's a game that has teams of four? Yes, that's why I'm a fan of this game. Because you're just fighting against three teams. In what other type of game would you get that? There probably is somewhere. But what other you know, game out there would you have four teams to choose from. Incredible. Right, I think you could put in, how many bots can you put in? I think about 10, 11, something like that. And you can just split them into how many you want into each team. It's brilliant. There's like game modes called, um, there's obviously deathmatch. You've got caps to bag, which I find humorous. You've got like, well, this, the task bit is two. There's certain games I love in that one. You've got regeneration, where you could just regenerate your health. You got a leech where you could just gain health from a type of other players. You got um flame tag, which is my one of my favorites because you just go around. It's like playing tag with your own fighter. You got monkey assistant, my favorite on both of them. But now I'm both monkey assistants on both of them. By the way, it's my favorite. You get to kill opponents and you meant to reach a cap limit to how to however much you want to put it on or kill limit, whatever you want to say, and. The monkeys obviously help the opponents in last. The only way you can tell they come after you is if they flash red. Right, that's how you know it's Nick Cage to come after It's fun though, it's wild that one. And they do count in your bot list. So if you're putting five monkeys, you'll only be playing against, I think, five opponents. You know, because they take up some slots in the, um, the, you know, the bot list. I don't know why. I don't know why they do that. They should, you know... Put more there and they should make you fight against the maximum amount of bots you have there. I don't know why they do that. It's a bit strange that one. I've always put it to five. Five is the amount of monkeys you you know they that attacks you, you know, maximum anyway. You got gladiator which is on both of them where you kill and you're highlighted and you know and you're meant to only get the kills when you're the gladiator. You got virus which is on both of them as well where a virus spreads around you got to do your best to avoid it and everyone catches it. It's kind it's kind of obvious what the name is. You got fee from both of them where you steal coins. You got bag tag which is on both of them where you have to keep the bag for a while. It's a it's a fun game. I mean, I think I missed out a game mode. I think somewhere or one or two game modes, but just check it out. 
it's in, it's an incredible set of games. It really is. I like and the time space feature perfect. I know another reason why I like that game is because the story mode you get companions. Some story modes are difficult, especially the one where you have to break in. Like it's called break and enter, and that's tough. Especially the weapons are ain't as powerful as you'd like it to be. You got um well I think I had the robot level which is called um something to call about which is probably one of the hardest because you have to fight that Goliath bot which would take a while if you're playing a hard difficulty. It's just and by the way you have to unlock you know set you have to unlock characters and play normal and hard. So if you're really if you think you're good at this game play on hard difficulty first that way you get you unlock all the characters in the story. It's a lot to get through. It really is like. <laughs> My favorite type, of, my favorite type of characters, the feature perfect ones, are the robots. Like you get robots, you get the undead, you get an alien character, you even get a goofy character like a gingerbread man. It's, it's a funny game. It really, especially when you're playing against all the goofiest characters. There, it's just, it's mad. It, it's a madness game. It's quite, it's humorous. I mean, once you play this game, you can get addicted to it instantly. Though, I mean, I don't be rant on a little. I don't be rant on too much. It's, there's a lot to get through in, in these sort of games anyway if you want to play it. But yeah, this sort of games I've been playing with most of the time anyway. If I got bored of the other games, I had to play these games. Now the rating for Time Space 2 here. The rating I'll probably give this would be a 10 out of 10. Has to be. Has to be a 10 out of 10. And this one here, Time Space Future Pit, my favourite. Uh, price tag is still on this one. And so this one's bought as well, by the way. I didn't steal it. And this is Time Space Future Perfect, 10 out of 10, instant, instant best arcade game ever. Both of them are the best arcade games. It's not unreal as Unreal Championship 2 where it's more intense, but it's semi-addictive to make you play every day. You know, it really is. I mean, you could just choose as many characters as you want. For me personally, my favourite character is Goliath SD9 because of, of the size of it and how intimidating it looks, how fierce it looks. R110 is also my favorite character because of how funny he can be with his with his humor. You got the other robot characters like Prometheus bots, which I like. I don't mind them actually. You got the Cropper, which is one of the undead characters. You got the alien, got the gingerbread man, which I just mentioned. Quite funny. The, there's a duck character. There's a mummy character. There's seriously, there's so many characters to choose from. You can have fun with it. It's the perfect game to play with anybody. It really is. I mean, I think when I first played, I didn't realize how you were meant to knock the other characters, but it's there. You can even have there's even you can even go in the settings where you go on your player options and you view what the characters are about and you just read about them. That's even more cool. I, seriously, this this is my childhood game idea. Right? Incredibly underrated. If you're wondering as well where Time Spitters One is, that's only on the PS2. And I've seen gameplays of that because I can't, you can't obtain it anywhere else. It's not it's just it's long gone. Don't know why because that game looks way more fun than these two. But seriously, both 10 out of 10, it, it's pretty much, like, what else can you say about it? Seriously, there's so much positivity that it's, it's flawless. It's a flawless game. I mean, the only negative is, is that there should be a time space for which I, I heard them, there's one coming up, but then I read other headlines of it being cancelled. I don't know why, but yet they're making more Resident Evil games, which I don't know why. They're making those which make time space for incredibly underrated. Anyway, 10 out of 10 for, the, for, for both of them it is. If you enjoyed this video, please give a like, comment, share everyone else, subscribe, hit the bell notification below. So I'll see you in my next video.